Welcome, this is the Delta Math tutorial covering exponential rule level 2. It says to express the following fraction in simplest form only using positive exponents. Let's write down the problem. 4t to the negative 8 power divided by negative 3 t 4 to the 5th power. All right. You want to split this up into the number and the variable. So the number side is just 4 divided by negative 3. And the variable side, you have t negative 8. And on bottom, you have t. Okay, this is 4 as the exponent, and you have another exponent to the fifth power. That is your exponent of a exponent. You multiply the exponent. So 4 times 5 just becomes 20. I'm just going to write that. Now, nothing happens to the number. 4 divided by negative 3 stays the same. But this can be simplified. This becomes a this becomes a um, quotient of exponent. So here you're going to subtract the exponent. So t, you have negative 8 and you have 20. And it says to subtract it. So negative 8 subtract 20 is negative 28. We don't like it having a negative exponent. So we are going to bring it down. So it becomes 1 over t to the 28 power. All we do is bring it to the bottom of the fraction. It becomes a 28 power here. The 4 divided by negative 3 stays here. So we, we can enter it as 4 divided by negative 3. Then we have uh, 1 on top and on bottom we have a t to the negative to the 28 power. All right? So this is what happens when it just comes back together like this. All right? So it looks something like that. All right? There's really no more 1 here because 4 times 1 is one okay so that's what we got here submit the answer give me a second here we got the correct answer here's all the work in detail The only difference between what we do is we just split it apart and take care of the number on one side and take care of the variable on the other on the right hand side. Okay? Then we just bring it back. Let's take a look at the next problem. You have a negative four p to the negative fifth power divided by negative two p fifth to the fifth power separate this from the number so negative four divided by negative two and the variable side p negative five which is on top and on bottom we have p f five to the fifth power we should see that as a exponent of an exponent you multiply the exponent so on bottom it becomes 25 p to the 25th power Let's simplify. Negative 4 divided by negative 2 just gets you a 2. Here we have now a quotient of the exponent. So it's p, negative 5, and 25. And we are going to subtract the exponents because this is a quotient of an exponent. We subtract the exponents. So this is because p, negative 5, minus negative 25 gets you negative 30. Nothing happens to the 2. We don't like when it's a negative exponent. Right? So we are going to bring it down. So it becomes 1 p to the 30th power. We just bring it down. Nothing happens to the 2. So the 2 is still going to be multiplied across. So the final answer should be 2 divided by p to the 30th power. So 2 divided by p 
to the 30th power. Hit submit, and we are correct. Here's the work in detail. Okay, this, this is considered level two because it combines everything that you need to do on the previous examples. Let's do this one where there's no negatives. Two T squared divided by three T eight. All right, so distribute. So this there's a really an exponent of one here. So this is an exponent of an exponent. That is a power of a product. Exponent of an exponent. You multiply the exponent. So this gets you two one times two for the exponent and then you have t 2 times 1 and divide this by 3t8 on top you have 2 to the second power t to the second power divided by 3t to the 8 power All right so let's separate this now the number side is 2 to the second power divided by 3 then you have the variable side which is t squared divided by t to the 8 alright 2 squared becomes 4 divided by 3 then we have t 2 and 8 this is a quotient of an exponent division of the same base you subtract the exponent Two minus eight is minus six. We do not like it when it's a negative exponent, so we bring it down. This becomes one over t to the sixth power, and the four thirds remains unchanged. So we can write this as four divided by three, and then you have a t to the uh, to the sixth power on the bottom. There you go. These might be a little bit difficult because they are level twos. It just combines a lot of your properties of your exponents. So make sure you have your properties of your exponents out. You just have to get familiar with which one to do first. But there you go. That is your exponent rule level two.